Well, kia ora, everyone listening at home. Uh, welcome back to the Starting in Te Reo Māori YouTube channel. Tonight on the call, we've got Hayley. Hayley's just finished the 30-day Te Reo Māori boot camp as of February 2020. And she's jumped on tonight to have a bit of a chat and um, mm -hmm. you know, talk about the, the course and her experiences. And yeah, hopefully give everyone at home a bit of an insight into yeah. what we do in the course. So kia ora, Hayley. Kia ora, kia ora Grant. Hi, how are you? Good, good. Thank nice you for jumping you. on. As you can probably hear from Hayley's voice already, uh, she is from England, rural England, uh, living in New Zealand now. Um, yep. So I think, I think that's a, a really cool thing. You know, this course, we don't just get Māori people doing it. Um, we do get a lot of our Pākehā. We do get people um, that don't even live in New Zealand wanting to do the course through a love of culture. Um, and yeah, so we'll hear a bit more about uh, Hayley's. Yeah. Hayley's background. So, um, Hayley, we'll jump into it. So, for you, before you started the course, what was life like um, surrounding Tadeo, surrounding Tao Māori being a foreigner? What did what did that all sort of look like for you? Um, sorry, Grant, and um, you just broke up there a bit. What did you say? What say that question again? So before you started this course, what was life like for you uh, regarding te reo, mm -hmm. regarding, um, you know, the language and, and, you know, what was that like for your life before you did this course? Oh, absolutely. I had absolutely no knowledge of, of te reo at all, you know, apart from kapai and uh, Kiora and that kind of thing, and I and I'd use Maori in my greetings, and I actually on my LinkedIn page, I've I've always had uh, the Te Tangata uh, poem. Uh, what's the most important thing in the world? Mm -hmm. It's people. It's people. It's people. I've always had that for years. I've always uh, ha had a, 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 a an interest, and uh, but I've, it's only just been the, uh, the just putting greetings in and 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 things like uh, no absolutely none mm. so you were pretty yeah. fresh coming into this uh absolutely totally totally fresh coming into the course yep. and um you know being able to but being able to learn to string words together and hear in hear words mm. um uh, start to learn vocabulary in maori uh um it was an absolute first i was totally green as green as as green as you could get coming in, onto the course for sure yeah yeah green and, green but willing to learn yeah and where where did that um you know for sharing for people at home um where did that willingness come from like where where did this desire to learn that it all um, come from? Being a being a foreigner, being um, yeah, from from England. Yeah. Yes, uh, I've been in, I've been living in New Zealand for twenty years. Um, so I met a Kiwi in London, and then we moved back here, or he moved back here. Um, um, you know, all those years ago, and now I've got two kids here, uh, living in Auckland, and so they learn. Uh, you know, basic Tereo at, at school, and uh, you know they they pull, pull me up on my all my pronunciation. They, they 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 do it really well, but they are they are they are New Zealanders, and they're growing up in a New Zealand world, uh, which has its future. I think in Tereo, mm. um, we see a lot of it now, and we hear a lot of it on the radio. And I don't like being apart from it. I see I'm not going to be going back to live in England. I don't think, and New Zealand is my home now, and. I want to be fully two feet in New Zealand. And for me, that means speaking to Reo Māori. And I wanted to make a strong um, yeah, move towards that. And so I've been looking out for a course. I joined your Facebook group and then I saw the course pop up. So I thought, yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to commit to that. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Awesome. And so when you, yeah. you jumped on board, um, did you have any apprehensions about joining? Was was there anything that sort of might have been holding you back from actually taking that step and committing to join? Uh, I, I, I the only thing that was holding me back was the the, the worry about over committing the time mm. and, and and not being able to actually complete it. I I did find that a struggle, uh, to be honest. But I that was my only worry. And and I I read on the 
I'd read on your Facebook page that it takes put aside at least an hour a day. And I thought I'd only worry with doing it. Yeah. Yeah, time wise. Yeah. yeah. Mm, just the time. Yep. Just the time being busy, having children, having a job, you know. Yep. That, Trying to yeah, balance sure. everything. And I wanted to do it. I actually wanted to do it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you committed to it. Um, so for you mm. coming out of the 30 days, having finished the course, um, what was the main result that you got? What was the biggest thing you got out of doing the course? I, I got... Uh, I, what I what I understood is there's so many people because there was 47 people I think on our course when we were doing it together. Um, I understood there's so many people from different walks of life that want to learn, and their their Maori background, their you know non Maori people that love New Zealand and have a have a strong interest, and we're all in it together, and there's no hierarchy in it. And I think I felt beforehand that I wouldn't, I was not worthy to do it. Um, you know, not having a Maori background, I didn't feel worthy enough to do it. And, um, you know, that's why I learned that I can do it and mm. I can be accepted for mm. wanting to. And it made me feel more um, at ease with people. Very, I mean, I'm at ease with people anyway, but it made me more at ease people in New Zealand um, and are open to people knowing actually they're without even knowing them they're probably in the same boat and uh, and, and I felt clear from doing the course yeah just mm. hearing people's insecurities I suppose but like when you do any learning but this yeah, yeah that especially around language and, I, and, and yeah, so that, that's, what I, that's my big learning and I also learned you can turn language on that was very interesting you the course is immersion and even today i was listening to the wire um cd I was, I was running trying to you know run with my with my stiff knees <laughs> but i was listening to the wire and and, uh, and 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 even now the uh the, the words are popping out i'm hearing i'm actually seeing the words as they're sat they're sung um, and and uh the the immersion quality makes it's not about learning i mean there is book learning but it's also an learning that language is an, um, uh, has an immersion quality to it, that if you mm. do enough of the immersion, then the language does start to take hold in you. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was interesting. Yeah, yeah. definitely. We, um, you know, it's, it's yeah. such a big part of the course is, you know, for a lot of people, they don't have the opportunity to be in an immersion environment where, you know, they, if they just position themselves in a situation that they would be immersed in the language um, other than, yeah. you know, English. So a big part yeah. of the course is, is changing that and, and um, taking that, uh, <clears throat> you know, taking that, taking a big responsibility around that and, and building your own immersion environment. And when we talk about immersion, um, you know, it's, it's what we see written. It's what we hear. It's what we uh, view. It's, it's people's faces talking. It's, it's songs, it's the news, it's all these sorts of things that just go around us normally, but in te reo Māori. And there, is, there are ways that we can do that. And mm. that's, that's how we get set up right at the start of the course. There are ways to do that and um, you know, build that immersion environment for mm. yourself. And like you said, it, it, it does. It just it, it gets into your subconscious and you can't not learn it by being immersed. Mm. Um, and just touching yeah, on another yeah. point you said before, um, you know about the acceptance in New Zealand and we spoke uh, just before we actually started recording you talked about bridging the gap you know bridging mm. that that divide between um, those those two worlds within that live in that exist within New Zealand mm. I think that's something to be uh, you know really commended for that you know mm. as for a foreigner coming in there would be very little expectations that you know foreigners would come in and, and try and bridge that gap um, so I think that's yeah, that's really awesome that you're doing that, and that's, that's part of your commitment mm -hmm. to not only your personal learning, but you know the broader community and mm -hmm. the broader society. And you know there might just be one or two people that are touched from seeing this video and inspired by you, and they might go out and you know this. It's 
how these mm. sorts of things just start to grow. So, um, yeah. Yeah. Well, I do think really there's awesome. a, you know, New Zealand, yeah, that, that New Zealand has, um, has got the, the big massive migrant crew a massive migrant community of all you know walks of life uh, from all different countries and you know they're all in their own way have New Zealand as their home and love New Zealand and you know I'm sure I'm sure quite a lot of them would like to um, mm. get more um, more knowledge about the uh, modern culture and the language and and that and and it's a little you know you are apart from it mm. New Zealander and and it takes a while you know it takes a while to be here you've got to put down roots too but eventually, you, I think a lot of people do want to be more part of it. So this is a way into the, the Maori side of it. Mm. Yeah, for me as well. I think other people would feel like that. Mm. Yeah, well, um, you know, here's to hoping that uh, more people like mm. yourself, more foreigners uh, take up that challenge. I, mm. I feel a bit funny calling mm. you a foreigner. Yeah. You've been there for 20 <laughs> years and you... <laughs> You know, you know, you're always a foreigner. Are you a foreigner in Aus are you a foreigner in Australia? Uh yeah. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Or are you Australian? Yeah. Depends hey? who you ask. Yeah. <laughs> I still get lots of comments on my YouTube channel. People saying, Bro, why do you sound like an Aussie? Oh, have a guess. <laughs> Were you born in Australia? Yes. Oh, right, you are then. Oh, oh, right. oh, I'm dinky. I like to say I get the best of both worlds. Mm, yeah, that is. Best of the, yeah, uh, yeah. the Anzac That's traditions, good. the Anzacs. Um, yeah. Cool. So there's obviously, um, you start the course, we go through the course, we get through the 30 days, we've got lots of uh, coursework that we go through, our lessons, our activities, our homework. Um, we do our weekly calls where we get to catch up, um, which are really good. We do the group work with each mm -hmm. other. Um, and then there's the small uh, accountability groups. There's the, uh, the, the live videos that we do, which can be a little bit difficult for some people. For you, mm -hmm. what was the, the feature that you, you liked the most or you thought was the most effective for you in your learning? Um, uh, we have a... Well, for me, I like the. I did like the homework. I didn't do. I ended up not being able to finish it all. I've still got a bit to finish, but um, I liked the book learning. I thought was good. Actually, um, have the homework that gets set every day. Um, it's quite intense because there is homework every day, but um, that meant you have to go to the books. You have to go to the apps and actually do proper learning. I, I found that really helpful. Um, yeah, I like that. I, I like the weekly call. It was good to be with everybody on the weekly call. That was a really good motivator and, and you learned quite a lot about people and what they were doing through that call and you know, from you as well. Um, um, I like the songs. I, I, do, I did like listening to the songs. That was, that's good. That was good for me. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Why yeah. Are they, they're the, li uh, the live videos. Hey, what are your thoughts on the live videos? <laughs> the the, they, well, they're very challenging. The live videos, doing a live video is very challenging. I almost don't want to talk about them because it will put people off signing up for your course. <laughs> I hope not. Um, Just don't mention those. No, the, live videos, those the live videos are really important. They're a really important part. You know, we start the course off. We don't even look at that L when we start the course. We spend that sort of first four, no. five, six days working through personal development um, style style things that uh, you know are really critical to people's learnings. There's there's a lot of people that want to learn this language, and there's a lot of people of the you know, of those people. There's a lot that have had uh, really negative and bad experiences in the past and you know mm. if you're trying to move forward in something whether it's this or whether it's you know a relationship whether you're trying to do something in life and and you've got these subconscious barriers that that are holding you back that are pulling you back there's not much point trying to move forward if they're not resolved if they're not mm. at least identified recognized mm. and then mm. we can start working through them to to remove those barriers so we, we start moving towards this space of a, a clearing. We've got this cleared space where um, there's nothing inhibiting us. And that's what, you know, the, the live videos and some of the other activities that we do, I won't delve into them, but the live videos are a really big part of that. The, um, yeah. you know, your, 
the worry that people have around public speaking, mm. being, you know, telling, just telling people what they're doing and, you know, really being yeah. authentic. Not, yeah. There's not a lot, we yeah. don't have a lot of opportunities in life unless we push ourselves where we get to be really authentic and really open about not only what we're doing, but why we're doing it. And that's, that's what I found yeah. you know, people really struggle with. But once we got past that, um, you know, what was the feedback that you got once you did that? Yeah, it was actually amazing. It, it took me a long time to build up the courage to do the live video to say why I was doing this course um, and, and then post it to all of my Facebook friends. It took, it took a lot of courage and I, and then I did it. And um, I got so many, I got so much feedback from everybody saying, you know, well done, lots of, lots of all positive, of course, all positive lots of lots of likes you know most the most liked thing i've ever done i think and uh, and uh, um and people really supporting and actually um people inspired by it you know as well which you think oh well that's that's fantastic you know like you said before like people might be inspired by things thing you do they were they actually were they they told me that you know when I, when i saw them so that was that was good that was really good, and yeah, that, I mean, mainly that that was the that was an, that was something very unexpected that you were going to be inspiring other people to do something. Mm. So, yeah, and you get really good you get really good feedback from people, and you know, people that may be wanting to do what you're doing, they kind of yeah. start to live vicariously through you. So, yeah, there's a bit of an yeah. expectation that hey, we want the updates. What are you doing? Here? I know they did. They were asking for updates, and I still <laughs> now now we're in lockdown. I'm going to be doing the rest of the uh, updates. That's one of my goals to do over the next thirty days in isolation. <laughs> good, some more live videos. <laughs> 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 yeah cool, but, but you know but, and, but walking down the street and, you know uh going up going to places where people knew me they'd be or corrected by pronunciation anywhere any anything i said yeah. oh that's good <laughs> yeah. you did that. that's good yeah. it was very 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 positive very positive very positive yeah good lots mm. of support for you lots of support yeah so, yeah yeah so you've gone through the course you've gone through all those challenges You've learnt lots. Uh, you've made some new connections, some new relationships with people. For anyone out there that's watching this video, that's maybe considering doing the course, would you recommend that they take this course? And if so, why? Um, yes, I would recommend you take the course because um, it, it 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 throws you into the deep end of of learning Thrail Maori straight. Uh, it, it's it's not like learning it's not like reading a book um i bought books you know i've got scotty morrison's book it's sitting up there pretty much read the first page and thinking oh I'll do it like he says do a half an hour a day you're not pushed to open the book to do half an hour a day you want to do half an hour a day you don't do half an hour a day but this course makes you and pushes you and motivates you it's the community it's it's you and it's the homework and it's the relentless pressure of knowing that you're in a 30 day boot camp that mm -hmm. makes you do it. So and then that gives you a bit of a springboard to potentially opening the books or getting some other resources or watching the the, the programs on um, Maori TV um, and uh, and, do, and doing more. So it gives you a, it gives you a gives you a boost. It gives you a springboard spring into the next bit but you would not get that. It would be just opening the book. Yeah. 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 Cool. And that's, 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 that's a big part of this course. And that's why it's, it's only 30 days. It, if, if you go too much longer, it can be difficult to keep traction. Uh, and, and accountability yeah. is a big part of that. That's why we've got the accountability group. So yeah. you know, everyone's staying in touch with each other. Everyone's staying connected. If you feel like you're starting to fall off a bit, you've got that, uh, that motivation yeah. and uh, that push from the other people in your group it's you know it's 30 days it's it's not six months and you can really quickly start mm. to see that end goal especially you know what i've all, what i always find is uh people struggle with some of the the, the opaki shows that we watch right yeah. at the start and they go yeah. wow no idea no i really but, struggle with that yeah but within about seven days 14 days people are going oh i'm actually starting to understand a lot mm -hmm. of what's being said and i mm. I, I really try and um 
you know, I really want people that are doing the course to just recognize that. Go, hey, remember what you said at the start of the course? Well, have a look at you now. Look how far you've come in only two weeks. Look, you know, mm-hmm. then they can start to say, okay, now I've come this far in the next two weeks. Well, now I can start to see, I, I'll start to get a bit of a vision yeah. around yeah. what I can achieve. Whereas, you know, if you're just picking up books at home and you know, I've done it before myself, it, it can be difficult to see, see that next step see that next goal so Mm, mm, yeah mm, i'm I'm really glad you you got that out of the course yeah definitely i mean the next thing is what next um but i don't know i have to find i have to find that out i i I do have i do have quite a quite probably the last 10 days to finish so i'm going to finish those and then and then i'll see what next Mm. yeah but i think that the reason i the reason that happened was because this covid19 thing was starting to bite at the end and then and then yeah the the, 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 and also the amount of learning even though it's the same amount every day i think a lot of people said this your brain starts to get full at the end because you Mm -hmm. are learning so much and your brain actually can't, it has to process mm. and you have to keep going back to the beginning and then that with that and it and it it's it, it, it does it build it sort of exponent the learning exponentiates in your brain and you and and you, you've got all you've got everything and then but you, it does t- you have to sort of go back over it so well even if it's so, even if you're like me that you need to that you need more time which i think every or everybody needs more time mm. um you've got all the tools there mm. so you don't have to think oh you actually still have amazing tools to go back to and 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 get understanding mm. and i can see on that facebook page uh, people are asking questions that are covered in your course you know mm. so they only have to do the course to to uh, um to, to get that, those answers mm. yeah so I've, I've yeah i've joined a few other facebook groups since um, and and uh, yeah, and and I feel like I can. I've, I've got a bit of, a bit more of a foothold in it now. Good, mm. good. Yeah, yeah. Good. I, I like to say that you know, the whole purpose of this cope up is to take people from a position of confusion to clarity, and and that's what this course is mm. all about. Bringing people in that are really struggling with what to learn, how to learn, where they want to go, and and really giving them some some tracks to run along giving them Mm. all the right tools and the right framework to run along those tracks with and get them out onto the other side they go i know what i'm doing now i know what i have to do i've gotten Mm. i've moved from here to here i know what i've got to do to get over here so i'm glad i'm glad you got all that out of the course Haley. so look just to wrap up um is Mm. there anything else that you'd like to add uh, as potentially people watching this in 2020 2024 2030 years from now we're still running this course. Uh, anything you'd like to, to finish up with before we close? Um, I think I I would say that you're you know you're you're the reason why people should do it as well. It's great to have somebody that's motivated so much uh, for the language uh, to run the course. You've got a lot of energy and knowledge, and you're a good teacher and you you know you're inspiring and and so it's not like a book and and so you you, you're getting real energy Mm. coming out of your computer um every every day the energy's there you're answering questions you're there on the video you're there on the call and um you know you can feel the the buzz and Mm. and it's great you know i love i love that i felt you know you feel part of something um, you feel really proud to be on it, so I you know I definitely do it if you can if you can put that put that time aside. I'll definitely, and it's not that much time. Um, I definitely do it. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. That's you know I okay. I love I love running this course. I've run it um, a number a number of times now um, for nearly. Uh, I think it started 2017, so two and a half years or something now. Run quite a few of these <laughs> courses, and yeah, I just. I love running them because I get to meet and connect with all these really shy people, but they're really not, mm. they're not all shy, but they're, they're not quite out there. And, and, you know, mm. being able to facilitate not just that learning piece, but that, that growth piece for people as well. Um, mm. That's just something that I love being involved with and, you know, staying mm. connected, with, connected with so many people after the course. And, you know, we, we do, we are connected through Facebook, but you know, you get some really good insights into people's lives and 
seeing all the amazing things that they do after this course, they just, it's like for some people, this is just like the, 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 the fire that gets lit and, and they go off and do yeah. all sorts of cool things. And um, yeah, for me, it's all about the connections and being able to facilitate people's growth. So um, yeah. And listening, listening to you talk tonight on the call, you know, super inspiring um, to see someone that's moved to New Zealand, moved halfway across the world to start a new mm. life um, with their partner and, you know, now actively getting vol- involved in a co-papa mm. like this and, you know, being, being one of those people that, that are going to be the, you know, one of the ones that does help bridge that gap that exists mm. in New Zealand. So, um, yeah, a, a big mihi to you for going down that path Hayley yeah no I feel really strongly about that I'm really happy I'm on that path and I didn't really know the path you don't know the path until you start taking a step do you and so it might be a bit unclear but you know you, you move forward and mm. you're like oh okay this is what I'm trying to do but you don't really know until you start mm. so yeah it's great yeah it's great I think the the saying goes the road less traveled <laughs> yeah, yeah I don't know. Say. Yes, it's not oh, easy. Bloody hell, it's not easy. It's really difficult. <laughs> well, look, Haley, thank you for jumping on. Okay. Thanks you. Thank you for sharing your experiences with the course, and really cool to get okay. to know you a little bit more and hear a bit more about your background. For anyone that's listening at home, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, and yeah, if you're keen to start learning, then please jump on board. Love to connect. Kilda Haley, we'll talk soon. Okay, Kilda, see you.